Hi, today I'm going to show you the Golf's German made brand of handheld core drilling machines, core drilling stands and vacuum kits. But let's have a look at the drills to start with. Okay, there's two models, pistol grip and the D grip. Both units are 2200 watts, they're three speed, they all come with inline RCD protection, thermal overload, front hand grip for handheld coring, and use the universal inch and a quarter thread for the core bits. Each of the units also comes with a handy blow mold carry case for storing the machine and some accessories at the same time. So let's have a look at the stand that suits the, uh, the core drills. So these units have a 60 mil ring collar. Again, that's a universal fit, so other brands of core drills will fit into this stand. Um, you can use it for vertical drilling as well as uh, horizontal drilling and drilling at angles. This uh, unit also incorporates a laser pointer. So where you need to drill your hole, uh, simply line the uh, laser pointer up onto the mark that you've made, put your rig in position, secure your rig, then drop in your um, uh, core drilling motor and your core drill and your centralise ready to drill. So there's two ways of securing the drill rig. That's with um, anchors, which is a common way, and the other way is with a vacuum pump. And this will basically suck the drill stand to the surface and hold it in position so there's no need for anchors. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the KB125 drill stand up, which also, by the way, comes with a full set of spanners, uh, for our vacuum kit. So what we need to do is we part of the vacuum kit is our plug and the plug is going to fit into that position there and with the aid of a gasket underneath create us a suction. So we pop him in like so, we'll drop our stand over and with the allen key we'll just do him up nice and tight. So there's no movement on the other side. Beautiful. With the aid of the rubber gasket, fill in around that section there. Simply pop him into position like so. All done now. So that gasket and the stand are all now ready prepped for use with our um, vacuum kit. We're going to prep the de-handled core drill ready for the for use. Up by the collar, there's three screw heads. I'm going to take the middle one out and that's where I'm going to locate my on off hose for my water. So here's my water hose that's going to screw into the machine. I've got an on off valve here, Gardena style fitting so it'll fit any garden hose and our also our 10 litre pressure bottle. Once we've tied that up with the spanner, we're ready to drop it into the rig. Simply drop him into the 60 mil ring collar, position it where you're liking it the most. With our Allen key, we'll just do up the front bolt. Don't have to over tighten it, just tighten half. So the, the drill is now in the rig, then we'll put the drill bit on. To use the vacuum kit in conjunction with the drill stand, very simple. We have our plug in position now. We take one end of our suction hose and clip it onto our fixing at the end on the pump. We have a long four meter suction hose and that will then fit over the valve in the plug, like so. Okay, that's it now. As soon as we start to turn it on, it'll create a suction. We don't have access to water by a tap and, and hose. We can use our Golf's 10 litre pressurised water tank. Um, again, uh, you would have this set up a bit more friendly and simply Gardena fitting onto the end of our Gardena hose here, valve on and off, pressurise your tank, turn on your water, and then you're ready to drill. So let's just pop that on the ground and uh, have a quick run. Okay, so now we've got the whole rig set up ready for drilling. 
The vacuum pump, once it's reached negative, it will actually turn off and hold the vacuum until it starts to require kicking back in again. The strength in this core drill and the vacuum kit. Move it. Because it is a vacuum pump, it creates a sealed vacuum. So what happens if the power turns out? Well, I'm gonna show you. Power goes out, pump stops, it's created a vacuum. It's not, because it's created a vacuum and it's a one way, it's not gonna come off. So now we've finished drilling, we've done the hole, we wanna pack up, the pump's turned off, it's still sucked to the ground. How do we get that off? We simply come around to the back of the plug in the stand and release the air. And now we're ready to go. So there you are, that's the whole kit and caboodle and uh, happy drilling from uh, Golfs.